What's good y'all today? I'm about to teach you guys how to create a glitched replica build What does that mean? That basically means you can make any build that you want and have it with the uh, Replica build name. Okay, so it's a custom build with the name you get the best of both worlds Stick to the end for proof that this works and if you enjoyed drop a like on this video Let's get right into it. All right, so step one, right? create your build Whatever build you want exactly, create that build, okay? So I'm just going to make it a shooting guard and right here. All right, so for this build, I'm gonna make a Luka Doncic replica just because that's one of my favorites. So all you really have to match in this section is the jersey number, okay? So in real life, he wears number 77, okay? So now I'm gonna go ahead and make this, you know, however I want. All right, so we're in the attributes, right? So now, this right here, just fill your player out exactly how you would want it. So for me, I don't really care. I'm just going to make this completely random, but y'all fill it out how you want. So boom, we're done. Next thing you're going to want to do, take a picture of the screen, take a screenshot of it, whatever you got to do, because you need to memorize all of these attributes, your height, your weight, and your wingspan. You're gonna need all of that information for the next step, okay? So go ahead and snap yourself a picture. Whatever takeovers you want, these are the ones I want from my player, sure. So boom, as you can see right here, I have shades of OG, Tobias Harris, Dennis Scott, and the build is called the three level scorer, okay? So now that that's done, back out to the main menu and we can go ahead into step two. Step two of what y'all are gonna wanna do is head over to features and go ahead to create a player okay select NBA create the new player right but for this what you're gonna want to do is head over to import player DNA use NBA player and find the player you're looking for right so right here here's Luka Doncic this is who we're gonna use import appearance and attributes all right so that's perfect now we're gonna wanna head into the vitals and this is where the picture from before is gonna be important. So we head into the vitals, right? So for his position, you want to match it to what you made. I made my build a small forward. Make sure secondary position is NA, okay? If this is not on NA, it will mess everything up. And next thing, make sure your jersey number between this player and your my player matches, okay? Now we're gonna head down to body. This is literally the most complicated part and it's not even that complicated. So match your height, match your weight, okay? And now right here for the wingspan. So they give you wingspan on a scale of zero to 100. So in this case, all you have to do is just whatever wingspan you're rocking, find the difference between that and a five foot seven wingspan and divide it by 29. So. For example, on my build, I made a seven foot seven wingspan. So seven foot seven and five foot seven, that is a 24 inch gap, okay? So simply, we're just gonna do 24 divided by 29 and you get 0 0.82. So that means you're gonna go over to here and up the wingspan to an 82. Next, attributes. Now. You want to fill these out exactly in your screenshot, okay? There will be attributes on here that you can't customize in the My Player attributes. If that's the case, just leave it. For example, post fade and post hook are not attributes you can upgrade on your My Player. So just leave those exactly the same. Do not touch those. So once you guys get over to athleticism, the only thing that you have to actually adjust that's not in the my player stats is your lateral quickness because in this year's game, lateral quickness and perimeter defense are grouped together. So 
When you hit lateral quickness, set it exactly to what your perimeter defense is. And once you hit durability, you guys are all done. Go ahead and hit export player DNA, okay? Save player data, name this whatever you want, okay? Boom, so you guys are done. Go ahead and hit complete. Key changes in return, and here you go. You're gonna see the player that you made. The next step, hit create roster, NBA modern official 2k sports roster and all you're going to want to do here is scroll over to uh your player so i find the mavericks i'm going to hit luca edit player go over to import player dna load slash download come over to my files and find what you saved it as import appearance and attributes and you guys are good hit complete keep save keep changes and returns we're gonna hit save roster name this whatever you want and right here this message will pop up okay please be sure to hit yes if you don't hit yes your roster will not save so now that your roster is saved we're pretty much almost done all you got to do is head over to play now and load your roster in the easiest way to do this go to a 1v1 blacktop click down your left stick user created my files and find your roster right here and now this next step isn't necessary you can back out from here but i just like to do this i like to load in and find my team to make sure i did everything correctly so as you can see right here luca's only at 89 overall so in the actual game he's a 96 so that's how you know how it worked the final step y'all are gonna have to do is literally just make your player so go over to new find the same build that you made so right here for me it was just three level score press y or triangle to edit the build make sure everything matches up the same as before go ahead and head on through all of this stuff press continue the my player builder is complete and right here you're gonna see the same comparisons as before but boom we get Luka Doncic and instead of three level score we get the Matador on our own custom build please let me know if you guys like this video drop a like on it if so and I'm gonna see you soon